morning, Timmy and Bethy. Today's vlog will be brought to you from my messy kitchen. As promised last week, I'm going to stick with the theme of January for healthy eating, and I'm going to bring you today two healthy recipes. Today's topic, snacks. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> it's fun. You know what else is fun? Dancing in your kitchen while you're making food. First recipe has only three ingredients. The others can be optional if you like. I'm only using the basic three because I don't have anything else on the cover today. First ingredient is bananas. Second ingredient is quick oats. And third ingredient is dark chocolate. First thing you want to do is take two pretty ripe bananas and you want to stick them in this bowl here. I swear, this recipe is easy peasy wheezy waiter. I did have a vegan chocolate chip recipe that I really liked, but um, there were so many ingredients and some of them weren't as readily available as this. So this is actually a Pinterest recipe. We're gonna take our nanas we're going to mash them. We're going to mash them to death. And I hate mashing nanas because they never get incredibly smooth. They're still kind of lumpy. But you know what? For this recipe, that's okay. That's We, we like lumpy nanas. Lumpy nanas. Lumpy N-A-N-A-S. Next thing you want to add is a cup of quick oats. Now it's important that these are quick oats and not the kind that you cook uh, because you're not cooking these. Well, I mean, you're baking them, but uh, quickly, you want them to absorb all of this numbness because I'm so damn excited about this vlog. Yeah, yeah, cooking stuff. Next, you want to add is some chocolate chips. Um, however much you want, but not so much that it's like almost entirely all chocolate chip. And you want the higher percentage is the darker the chocolate chip. Um, dark chocolate's very good for you, not in excess of course, but you know, everything in moderation, blah blah blah, healthy advice, junk that I don't normally follow. Anyway, um, the higher the percentage of dark chocolate means the less sugar that's in it. You're going to drop them in little blobby wads on your baking sheet for 15 minutes at a 350 degree oven. The next thing we're going to make is chips. Now, I really crave something salty every now and again and something crispy, but a lot of times chips just have too much crap in them, to say the least. You know, preservatives, all kinds of stuff that isn't good for you, too much oil, too much salt all this stuff. So what I like to do instead is use kale. This is a very dark green that I did not like by itself at first, but I grew to love it. It's high in a lot of vitamins, vitamins A and C and X, whatever vitamin that is, I've never heard of it. Potassium, it's anti-inflammatory, it's full of uh, antioxidants. It's really great for you. So what we're going to do is I have some garlic that I have from my garden. And you can use um, powdered garlic if you like, but I am out and real garlic is better anyway. Because it's good for you. No, it fell. gonna do is mince this baby. I'm using the raw 
wrong kind of night for this right now. But you know what? That's okay. My dishes are dirty and um, I'm too lazy to do them right now. Chop it up as fine as you like. Set this aside. And we're going to take our kale. We're just going to cut the leaves off. We don't want any of this stem part because that is just incredibly fibrous and not very fun to chew. So we're just going to take this and we're just going to break it up a little bit. Throw it on our baking sheet over here. This really is a beautiful green. I don't know why I never stuff before. Better late than never, huh? Oh, that was so big. Uh, you guys probably screamed. If you didn't, I'm concerned. Alright, I'm gonna take some olive oil. Drizzle it all on the top here. Dun dun. Gonna add a little bit of salt. garlic that we're just going to sprinkle all over the top here. And we're going to pop this, well I'm probably going to toss it a little just because I want it to be well seasoned. There we go. Okay, then we pop this in the oven for 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes. I just burned my hand. I literally picked up the pan without thinking it went. Oh, why did I do that? Fuck! And here are our little banana cookie babies. Uh. Sorry. Mm. They're soft and chewy. These would be good with some chopped pecans if you're into that. Maybe some dried fruit to throw in there. Um, cinnamon. You know, you can add all this stuff because the banana and the oats are the staple. And that's basically it. You can throw whatever you want in it. Another ASMR tool. That's good. That's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed my little snack recipe tutorial. Next week I will do a really delicious soup that I just threw together that I think you will love. I will catch you guys at Uvu in an hour. Okay, bye.